Hey everyone, this video is about chain maintenance. The first step in chain maintenance is to get the rear wheel off the ground and uh, set up for chain maintenance. That's exactly what we're gonna do in this video. I will show you a couple of options, discuss pros and cons, and uh, we'll emphasize safety throughout. To get the rear wheel off the ground is really not that complicated. If you have a center stand, if you don't have a center stand like this bike, only comes with a kickstand, it's a little bit of an issue. But just because you don't have a center stand, it's not an excuse for ignoring your chain. Manufacturers recommend that the chain be uh, cleaned and lubricated every 1,000 kilometers uh, more often if it rains. And uh, here in beautiful British Columbia, it rains quite a bit. So. Uh, that means uh, constant um, chain maintenance. Now, chain is, uh, or sorry, uh, rain is uh, not clean water. Okay, it's gritty. It's the, it's got sand and sediment in it, and uh, and that sand and sediment will uh, will be uh, detrimental to your chain. And uh, in my next video. I uh, take apart the chain and I'll show you critical points of uh, lubrication and uh, cleanup for uh, maintenance. To, uh, so back to uh, getting the rear wheel off the bike. It's real simple. I'm going to use this 2x6 on the other side of the bike and uh, we'll put it underneath the swing arm. Uh, let me show you uh, how it looks like when the bike is lifted up. Like so. It's pivoting around the uh, kickstand here and uh, around the front wheel there you can see and uh, and the rear wheel is off the ground so uh, you could do uh, maintenance if you prop something underneath the swing arm on the other side of the bike so uh, here you can see a uh, half an inch or a quarter inch uh, air underneath the rear tire is plenty good for chain maintenance now I want to show you uh, the upper limits of uh, safety uh, the bike starts uh, to tip over uh, somewhere around uh, somewhere around here when the rear wheel is about hmm, I don't know maybe uh, six or eight inches up in the air somewhere around there would be way too much and totally unnecessary for chain maintenance. Also notice that the uh, bike is on a sloped street. If you look at the uh, direction on the curb, you can see it's got uh, quite a bit of slope to it. So uh, if you, uh, even on a slopey street, you lift up the rear wheel just half an inch so you can do your chain maintenance, it should be fine. The bike otherwise weighs 420 pounds here. It's a V-Strom. Uh, come on over to the other side. Oh, actually, let me show you something while we're here. Uh, to lift up the bike, uh, two things. The kickstand should be not halfway here, not here, all the way there to make sure the bike does not roll forward and uh, you have a solid uh, footing here. You can see the kickstand is strong enough, it's not going to collapse underneath the bike's weight when the bike is tipped over. Also extremely important, okay guys, don't ignore this. The uh, front wheel must be firmly against the curb or, uh, or against something that doesn't move. You can you can uh, push the front wheel against a tree stump, uh, side of a pickup, a big rock, big rock, whatever you find. But the front wheel mustn't roll forward because the bike doesn't have a handbrake, okay? And uh, if the bike rolls forward when the uh, rear wheel is lifted up, you're going to be one unhappy camper. Come on over to the other side. Just like, just like that there so this is how it works you grab your 2x4 or 2x6 you lift up your bike just a wee bit just like that I can't even put my finger underneath just a pencil gap underneath the rear wheel there put the bike in neutral you can do your chain maintenance now I don't know if you can notice yeah it, you can see there's quite a bit of air gap here under one corner of the wood which I can accentuate maybe this way even more I don't worry about this gap as long as you have a nice and uh, 
dry surface or uh, free, free of uh, debris so you don't try it maybe on an icy road okay I'm sure the same thing probably works in a somewhat muddy environment uh, if you really need to clean your chain or uh, take some mud and scrape off some uh, stuff off your brakes but uh, or, a, or on a gravel road but uh, find something that doesn't compress okay and uh, here at this point friction is your best friend so don't try it on an icy road because otherwise this is gonna kick out and uh, the wheel is gonna be coming back on the ground if this piece slips out let me show you what happens the bike just falls back down to its uh, like so to its normal position where it is if this slips out so uh, you don't have to worry about that part much I tried and cut uh, during the uh, shooting of this video a couple of uh, materials here's a stick that kids dragged in and I just cut it to any not exactly random length but just eyeball something that's long enough and maybe put this one a little closer to the center of gravity of the bike there it does it does the job just as well and I found uh, I found a broken piece of uh, furniture uh, spindle and this works as well there put it in put it in there it's good enough it's solid enough you can see you can give the bike a shake it's good enough for chain maintenance here uh, the last one that uh, did not break and the thinnest that didn't break is about a half rotten twig or half good twig about this thick just put it underneath maybe maybe here because it's a little long and you can see on it it's bending quite a bit as I yank on the bike but uh, anything thinner than that would probably snap but even if they do so like I said the bike just comes back to its rear wheel so uh, so you'll be reasonably safe okay again make sure that the front wheel does not roll forward okay it must be against something immovable like a curb or a rock or a tree stump or something that really really doesn't roll forward okay uh, oh yeah and one more thing uh, here I have a bathroom scale let me see can you see the numbers on it not yet let me switch it on there okay I will put it underneath the rear wheel so you have an idea what kind of forces should the uh, sticks uh, withstand against let's see no let's switch it on again let's see no, just one more try. Let me switch it on. There. Take a look. Uh, let's see. Can you see the numbers on it? 67 and a half pounds. Yeah. So, uh, as long as your uh, sticks, broom handle, shovel, hun shovel handle, uh, any kind of twig you can find in the forest, whatever, can withstand a compressive force of 67 pounds you should be safe and you will be safe so it's not a lot of force you can see and, uh, and even if your stick slips out you'll be fine and you'll be safe uh, another option for uh, getting the rear wheel off the ground just come around here with me is uh, using a uh, using swing arm spools which mount to uh, oopsie, to this part of the swing arm here they thread in let's see if I can zoom closer a little bit say something like that would work there you can see this hole here a swing arm spool uh, threads in there and uh, you can have a swing arm lift that lifts up the uh, rear end of the bike if you don't have 20 bucks for a swing arm spool you can try this bolt it costs about 30 cents and uh, just uh, spin it in there 
Okay, I never used that hole, so it's a little bit uh, clogged up and dirty. So you would need to spin it in there, and that also works if you don't want to spend the money on a swing arm spool, 20 bucks per uh, for a pair of them, nice and shiny. So let me just take this one out. Okay, those are your options for uh, chain maintenance. And like I said, just because the bike doesn't come with a center stand, it's not an excuse for ignoring your chain maintenance. Alright, so uh, do be safe and have fun riding.